<coughs> uh, uh, we're glad to have you here, sir. Uh, your father spoke so much about you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, my father would have loved to be here, but uh, he had to travel abroad for another business meeting. Yes, I understand. Well, you're here. Uh, we're very glad to have you here. Thank you. Uh, so, shall we move to the business at hand? Yes. Um, uh, yes, come in. I'm ready, sir. Oh, great. Yes, now, come on, come. Uh, 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 Mr. This is uh, Genevieve Udo. Uh, she's the head of research. And then, Jenny, this is Mr. Clay we've been waiting for. He's here. <laughs> Stop, don't say my name like that. You know he turns me on. Yeah, your voice drips like honey. Mm, it's deep and it's sexy and it's romantic. <laughs> mm. Wait, what? Why didn't you tell me? Baby, forget surprises. You're coming back to the country and you didn't tell me. I would have prepared you know how much I've been looking forward to you coming back. to see you. Yeah, Friday works. Uh, uh, I have something very important to attend to on Friday. How about Saturday night? No? You're not free. Um, okay, okay, just, just come, just come, just come and work something out. That's all I care about. I just want to see you, so I will definitely work something out. <sighs> yes, baby, please, I can't wait. I love this coming. <laughs> I cannot wait. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'll work something else. I'll definitely see you. Why won't I see you? I've been looking forward to this all my life, literally. <laughs> that party is the most lit. Oh my ah. guy, you saw when those guys pop that door. Remember me talking about? Because you see when those big walks in. Yeah! Hey, ah, that girl puts everyone's attention. Everything shifted to that girl. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Hey, hey. Ah, oh, well, that party was really. Like, did I miss that party? I swear, yeah. I swear. Yeah. Speaking of parties, your baby comes up in a few days. Like, what's, what's the plan? Drinks, babes. Ah, ah, Dude is right. Ah, ah, come on. It's just in a few days. What are you planning? Is there no party? Nothing. I'm planning nothing. No party, no girls, nothing. I just want to sit home and chill, you know, reflect, man. Come 25. on, come on, Clem. It's your 35th birthday. Mm -hmm. we, we, we're supposed to celebrate. Come to think of it, it's been a while you did that. Since you broke up with Kate. Five years, come on. That girl has moved on with another man. You need to do the same. This is what I've been talking about. The person that hurt you has moved on. And you're here punishing yourself. Eh? Okay. Step out of this thing. Eh? Anyway, for this your birthday, we've planned something. A blind date. Blind what? Blind date. Blind date? Mm -hmm. So you expect me to go on a date with a girl I don't even know at my age. That's the point. Uh, listen, Clem, you've gone out with practically all the girls you know, mm -hmm. and it all failed. Come on, what makes you think this one with the strange girl will not work? Come on. Well, are you going on a blind date? I'm fast. I'm not interested. Man, I, I told you this, this guy will turn you down. He's scared of me, man. You say what? Mm. Scared? Mm. Scared of women? Mm. No, I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared of women. I'm just different. I just don't subscribe to your idea of blind date. Come to think of it, these girls are going on dating sites, hustling, looking for rich men to, to hook up with. Dating sites are now hookup sites for, 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 for hustlers. You must you always come up with excuses? It's not an excuse. Look, how difficult is this? Just go there, sit down, eat, 
chats with this girl. This strange girl, after the first date, will no longer be a strange girl now, guy. <sighs> Come to think of it, Clem. Reservation made, table booked. Mm -hmm. Please. Don't come and throw our money away. Throw your money away? You are wasting your own money, not me. I didn't ask you to book anything for me. Expecting me to go on a date with a girl I barely know and sit there yeah, and do what I You have two you. options here. Uh, is either you go on this date or what? Oh, I call your sister, Amanda, to send one of the girls she's been trying to match me with. Seriously? Mm. Like, seriously? Mm. You're not using my sisters to threaten me. My guys, my friends, that should be more understanding. Now you're using my sister to threaten me. Mm -mm. There's no interest. I don't have my own will, right? <laughs> my phone is yours. What friends you are? Totally disappointed. Who <laughs> is scared of his sister? Who would not be? One call from that woman and your life will change. I'm even scared of her too. So, how far now? So, that big. Did you get that number? Ah. No, no. And, and you're here. Ah, babe, please, please, wait now. Uh -uh. Please now. Just wait. Just this one time. Are you now, listening to yourself? Please, girl, please. All you have to do is mm. just show up, okay? Talk to him, mm. laugh, eat, drink, mm. gist, mm. and then you're done. You Are come you done? back, you don't even have to. You don't have to see him again. Done. No. Are you listening to yourself? You want me to go on a blind date with a total stranger? I know, I To know. talk about what exactly? Anything! You can talk about anything. I need to just buy time. And once you're done, you leave. You don't even have to give him your number. See, he will not even see you again. You won't see him anyway. Just this one time now. Please, just do this thing for me. I'm begging you. Wait now. Ah, please, just do this one thing for me. I'm begging you. Eh? Just this one time. No. Ordinarily, no, I won't actually. I this. said no. This is not my thing. Babe. It's not my thing. On a normal day, I would not ask you to do this, but I feel like I don't have a choice right now. Tim is back. So? And I need to see him. I actually care about this person. <sighs> Come on now, you're the one that is only telling me to find someone. And I found the man of my dreams. You want me to lose him? Eh? Look, I can't go on, on that date with the both of them. And if I can't wait now, if I can meet him, I know we definitely will kick it off. And very soon, I'll just settle down with him. I won't babe. have to be jumping from one no, no, app no, no, to the other. No, you're not going to. No, babe. don't do this. Cancel, reschedule, do something. I can't do that. Like, if I put me in this mess. If I can't reschedule, I will reschedule, but I can't do it. I can't I can't do that right now. The rule of the app oh states that you cannot cancel a date and you can't stand someone up. So I have to go. Yeah, just show up in my place now, please. Just do this thing one one time. Last time I, I won't beg you for anything in this life again. No. Ah, Jenny. No. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand error. What? Yes. 100,000 naira, I'll give you 50,000 naira now, cash, life and direct, without even wasting time. And then after you come back from the data, I'll give you the other 50,000, but please, what's this for me? Please, I'm begging you, please. I'm serious. You're serious? Mm. Are you okay? Yes. No, just help me, please. Where's the money? Is that a yes? <laughs> no, okay, no, no, chill, 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 no, 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 chill. Listen, mm -hmm. I'll do this thing for you. Mm -hmm. But forget about the money. I'll do <laughs> this is one and only time. Yes. <laughs> I'll go be my phone right now and I'll wire you the money. Life and direct. I said I don't want your money. I, we always take it for you, eh? You deserve this money. Or you want to save my life right now? See me here, right? I don't regret this. Yes, mom. Yes, mom is here. Uh, but he said he won't do anything about the birthday. So I invited Amaka, your friend's daughter, to come over and spend the weekend with him. You know, Amara's always liked him. Yes, mom. Yes, I told the driver to pick her up. Mm. Okay, mom. Um, there's... 
mommy, 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 let me call you back. Let me call you back. Going somewhere? Yes, sir, I have a date. But you said you want a, a quiet birthday, not a loud one. So what's with this going out? Yeah, it's just a date. It's still a quiet birthday. Really? Hope yes. this is not about Amara coming. Because if it is, then you are failed. She's still coming. Jude and Ola set me up on a date. Uh, you can call them and, and ask them. Really? It's not about anything. It's just a date. Oh, you should have told me earlier. I just told you, sister. Oh, well, that's nice. <sighs> Mommy, what's that? Mommy. Hello? Mommy. since your girl is not here yet and uh, I'm here sitting all by myself. Did you guys not tell her that I, I hate lateness and I, I don't like to waste my time? I mean, I could have been home working or doing something more useful with my time, not waiting here for one damn girl. Hey. I think she finally decided to show up. Look, I can't wait for this whole thing to be over so I can get home and uh, get to work. I'll talk to you guys later. Clem, right? You are 17 minutes late. I know. I'm so sorry. I thing is. <laughs> it's traffic, right? Traffic? <laughs> yeah, the I... most used, useless excuse of Lagos. It's always traffic. I'm sure you know if you had left your house in time, you would have made it here in time, not to waste my time. I beg your pardon. I hate targetness. Most especially women like you who think you can just do anything and get away women with Women like, like me? <laughs> yeah, women like Mister, you. Mister, listen, I, I, I don't know what your problem is, but I'm certain I'm not your problem. And I won't stand here and watch you speak to me like a child. You're not going to say anything to me. I'm literally sitting here. You're just going to ignore me. Excuse me? You just keep quiet. Just keep quiet. You talk too much. Look, I'm not here for an actual date. I'm just here to pass time. So I will appreciate your silence. Okay, that's okay? it. Talk that's it. Very much. Just keep talking. Talk, talk, who the hell talk, do you talk. think you are? Excuse me, who the hell do you think you are? You think you're something? You are nothing. You're not even worthy to wipe my shoes. Talk more of me sitting here talking to you. Just so you know, I did not want to be here. So you better take this stupid pride out because you do not deserve to be on a date with me. That's nonsense. And you know what? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Look at me! You, you are nothing. And I pity, oh, I pity the unfortunate woman that will end up with you because people like you deserve to be miserable and lonely. And guess what? is exactly what you're going to get in life. That's all. You know, I honestly don't know how you convinced me to go in on a date with a very rude man. Hey, eh? Extremely rude! Who, who the hell does he think he is? Speaking to me like I'm his subordinate. You need to see the way this guy spoke to me just because I was a few minutes late. Haven't you been listening to what I was saying? I said my car broke down, I had to take a cab. This guy didn't even let me explain anything. Literally almost bit my head off because I was late. See me, I don't even understand what you're saying, but you, you, you know me now. 
I, I wasn't going to sit for, uh, for anybody to disrespect me. I wouldn't take that nonsense. So I gave him a piece of my mind. Oh, yes, I did. I spoke to him like a child. And I'm sure he will not forget that in a very long while. Nonsense. Very stupid boy. Talking to me like I'm his child. What nonsense. I don't blame you. you get such rude, obnoxious girl from? Because I have never been disrespected and rudely spoken to all my life like I was tonight. She is a grass girl. You should have seen the way she spoke to me. Look, 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 I was thoroughly embarrassed. And you know what? I'm not going to do this again. I cannot do it again. I'd rather go with uh, Amanda's boring choices, but at least they have caught me the respect I deserve. Bro, bro, it's not a laughing matter. I'm serious. I was so disrespected. The girl is so rude. The two of you, don't set me up again. Please, please, don't, don't set me up again. Please, all right? I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm serious about this. Look, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Bye. Driver, let's go home. Well, in a few minutes, the investor will be here. Yes, sir. I hope you and your team are ready with the pitch. Of course, ready and set to go. I trust you. Yes, sir. I trust you. Okay, I will gather the team at the boardroom now. Good. Yes, sir. Don't forget, this is very important to us. Yes, I'm aware. We must not make any mistake. Of course. All right, dear. Thank you, sir. Excuse okay, me. Sir. Good luck. All right, sir. All right, dear. Ah, so I'll wait for him here. All right, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, we're glad to have you here, sir. Uh, your father spoke so much about you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, my father would have loved to be here, but uh, he had to travel abroad for another business meeting. Yes, I understand. Well, you're here. Uh, we're very glad to have you here. Thank you. Uh, so, shall we move to the business at hand? Yes. Um, uh, yes, come in. I'm ready, sir. Oh, great. Yes, sir. Now, come on, come on. Uh, 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 Mr. This is uh, Genevieve Odo. Uh, she's the head of research. And then, Jenny, this is Mr. Clay we've been waiting for. He's here. Uh, is there anything the matter? Excuse me. Yes, sir. Is this your staff? Yes, sir. She's the head of research. This rude human being it works for you uh, excuse me sir and you were selected to do business of your company with this person working here uh, excuse me sir I, I don't look mr bassi yes sir i cannot do business with you i went for my father the same thing excuse me uh, excuse me sir uh, ex uh, uh, excuse me sir i don't, I don't understand uh, sir i don't excuse me sir taking me to build this company? Do you know what it took me to bring that man here? And now you have ruined everything. I can't do business with the company again. What is wrong with you, Genevieve? I'm so sorry about this. I didn't know he was... You didn't know! 
You did not know. You are supposed to carry yourself with dignity as a representative of this company. And what do you do? You go on doing nonsense. Nonsense. I'm. I, I will fix this, sir. I will do everything in my power to fix this, please. Oh, oh, I'm Jenny, so sorry. Jenny, 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 you, you, you better fix this. Oh, consider yourself sacked. I will close my eyes and get you out of here. And get you out of here. Get you out of here. Get you out of my sight now. Yeah, what do we do? Are you asking? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Babe, you need to apologize to him. I'm ready. Your job is dependent on I'm it. I'm ready. But where do I find him? I don't know where he lives. I don't know where he works. Nothing. No info. His number. I called. The PA Thank picked you. up, heard my voice, and called the call on me. Ah. <laughs> Girl, this is one you're serious, though. This is serious. Okay. And I feel terrible. I feel this is all my fault. You know, if you hadn't gone to that place in... No, not now. This is not what I need. I do not need blames. I need you to give me a solution. What do I do? Uh, okay, uh... Um, See, help me out here. Okay, uh, let, let me check his Instagram. Eh, and there, there will be something there. Maybe an address, or we can find maybe a popular place he likes to hang out. And you can right. just... Let, let's just check, yeah? Don't kind of worry, we'll figure it out. Is this. We will figure it out. Of Don't worry. all people, of all men. I'm oh, sorry, baby. This is my fault. <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. Wait, wait. You mean that girl? I mean, the one from the dating app? Yeah. The very same girl. And she, she recognized you? Of course she did. Come on. Of course she did. Wow. And because of that, she decided to call up the deal with the company. Yeah, of course. But I can't do business with such people. Come on, companies should be very careful who they hire. Not rude people that cannot even represent them properly when they're, when they're out on the streets. That girl should be unemployed. She should be on the streets. Well, with what you just said, I am sure she's currently unemployed. Ah, could be good for her, or better so good for the company. At least she will learn how to be cordial and respectful to people in the future. But you know you were you weren't actually cordial to her too. If right. if we if we to go if we were to go with what you, you told us happened really? that night. Wait, wait, what are you saying? What did uh -huh. I do? She was late and I only corrected her, that's all. She was about 16, 17 minutes late. Man, okay, you should have done better, you know that. I should have done better. He <laughs> says the person who first of all set me up on a blind date with a rude girl. Mm. You are to blame, two of you. Nah. Yeah, no, if you have if you hadn't forced her or me, or you hadn't forced me to leave the house to go and meet her on a blind date, she probably would have had a job by now. <laughs> so her unemployment is on two of you. No, you no, are no. to blame. Nah, 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 Clem. You you can't blame us for your reaction. Look, we only set you on a date. Uh -huh. We never asked you to be insensitive. Guys. Insensitive? Yeah. So now you're calling me insensitive? Yes. How? Look. You know you were not in your best behavior that night, so remember. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Well, um, Clem, I, I was thinking you should reconsider the company and um, the girl's job. Exactly. Yeah, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. She has to learn the, the, the lessons of what happened, all right? She has to be cordial. She has to be nice to people. She has to be respectful. She doesn't learn those lessons. Then uh, you, you, you know you have a part in all this. My brother, I'm thirsty. Let me go and get something to drink. She's unemployed, and that's for her own good.
are you doing here? How did you find me? Sir, listen, I just want to apologize. My conduct at the dinner, it was wrong. Totally unacceptable. That's not me. Usually, I'm never like that. I just... I'm sorry. I, I, I'm really, truly sorry. So you're sorry now because you know who I am and because you need something from me. If I were just some random guy, would you be here apologizing to me? Would you? I... I thought so. I thought so. Sir, please don't punish my company for my own doings. Let me bear the consequences, please. I'll do whatever it is. You do whatever it is. What do you actually intend to do? Hmm? Mr. Clem, please. Nothing. Hey. For you. All right. Mr. Clem, please let's talk about this. Mr. Clem. Mr. Clem. I'm capable of melting, so I have to be careful with rain, okay? Hi, Mr. Clem. I'm, I'm sorry to just show up like this, but I'm, but I'm desperate. I, I need your help. So you're sucking me now? Of course not. I just... I, I want to apologize for the other day. I, I was just, wrong. Stop, stop, I, no, just, just hear me out, sir. Stop please. It. Sir, please. Stop my, it. my job is at stake. My stop, job... Stop it! Jesus. Mr. Clems. You know, I met that guy today with mm -hmm. his friends. You know what he did? Mm -mm. Treated me like I was a plague. He didn't even want to listen to anything I had to say. Uh, that guy is so rude. Kai. Uh, well, your MD, did he say anything about you getting your job back? 
He sent me a text. Okay. He said, don't come to work until you get the deal. Wow. <laughs> At this point, I might as well just start looking for another job. No, 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 no. Come on. What else am I going to do? You can't do that now. Oh, you love your okay. job. Okay. And you know how difficult it is to get a new job well, around here. I don't know what to do. Well, um, how about I go with you to go see him and we can apologize together. Maybe if he sees how important this is to you, he will change his mind. You're going to do that for me? Uh, yes, now. Considering the fact that I'm the one that got you into trouble in the first place. Oh, aren't you the sweetest girl? <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. What? What? He's inviting me to his place tomorrow. Oh, Clem. Clem. Ah, uh -uh. let me see. You're serious, though. Hmm. But he didn't state any reason why he wants to see you. Do you know why he's inviting you? Over? How would I know? This is the same guy that has refused to grant me any audience. He has ignored me. This is weird. It's suspicious, right? Well... <laughs> what? Maybe he has fallen for you. Yeah, possible. Can you be serious for just one time? Girl, I am serious. Look at you now. What is wrong with you? My dear, you are fine. You are a fine hot girl. Any man in his right senses will fall in love with you like this. I need that deal and my job, not a man. Mm, you can have both, my darling. Yes, you can have your job, you can have your deal, and you can have the man. It's a win-win, plus plus. I would rather be a nun than be with that guy. Have you met him? He's an epitome of disrespect. Very rude. Epitome of disrespect. Oh, uh, yes. I'm fine, too. I'm okay. tall. Okay. And dark. You know, I can I'm introduce handsome. him he's, to you. I don't want to. He, he's meant for you. Uh, do you. Just the way you like them, right? Do you see me smiling? This is serious. <laughs> Thank you for... Wait. You go first. No, it's fine. You, you go first. No, I insist you go first. Okay. Well, I thank you for granting me audience. I truly appreciate it. I don't think you should be counting your cheeks before they are hashed. I didn't invite you to give you audience. I invited you here for questioning. I don't understand what questioning. So I just found out that you were not just rude, but you are also an imposter. I beg your pardon? You're not the person I was supposed to meet on that blind date, are you? Oh, how about that? Oh, well, so it's true. <laughs> You're truly an imposter. I'm not an imposter. Oh. My friend, Sissy, she was who you were meant to meet, but she had a prior engagement and apparently on the dating app, it's against the rules to cancel. So I just stood in for her, that's all. And you expect me to believe that? You can believe whatever you want to believe. But that's the truth. I'm not a liar. You know, for a person who came here to beg, your mouth is way too sharp. What do you want from me? What do I want from do you? Do you want my blood? I have pleaded, I have begged, I have done everything. Do you want me to go down on my knees? I will go down on my knees if that's what you want. Hey, you didn't tell me you were coming. You would know if you picked your calls. Um, you called me? I, I, I didn't notice. Three times. So where is what you told me about? What, where is what? Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Wow. Wow, who is this beauty before me? Hi. 
You're such a beautiful woman. Thank With you. the right legs. Ooh. And the right hips for carrying children. I will take that as a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know what? And she likes jokes too. Uh, sister, you said you had something you wanted us to talk about. Can we go to my room, please? I like this one. Come on, let's go to my room. <laughs> let's go. I'll be right back. No problem. I will be waiting. Come on, let's go. Uh, oh. So you've you've got your wife for me? It's plain English. And I know you're smart, so figure it out. You can't force me to, to, to be married or to have a wife. It's my decision to make. Mm. I will get married when I feel like. Just like everyone else. But you're not everyone else. No, you're not. You are a prince. The earthly throne. The fact that you're mingling with everyone else does not make you everyone else. The throne needs an heir. You have to get married and have kids. I have tried that. And where did it get me? To a, a, a lying, selfish, uh, self-seeking, gold-digging wife who left me for another man? So what? So what she left you? She left, so what? Huh? So you have to put your life on hold because of an unfortunate experience. Is that what you're telling me? So let me tell you. You have a duty to uphold. A responsibility your people are waiting for you to carry. Yes. It's not all about you. It's all about everyone else that loves you. Our family and the kingdom inclusive. Okay? So you need a wife in your life. You need kids. So you've gotten one for me, right? You've gotten a wife for me. You didn't leave us any choice. Yeah. It's either that or you die a bachelor. <sighs> Who's the girl? Amara. What? You, you can't do that. You know I don't like the girl. You have not even given her any chance. Amara is a nice girl. She is nice. Well behaved. From a good family. Give it time and know you will like her. That I know. Guys, ever thought of the fact that maybe, just maybe, I might be in a relationship? I have a girlfriend, somebody in my life. <laughs> relationship? What relationship? With whom? Clean, please. So, sister, I want you to meet the love of my life, Genevieve. <laughs> Hi, sister. I'm the love of his life. Wow. Hmm. You're so cute. Thank you. Come <laughs> here. Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> Clem. Yep. You have a girl this beautiful and you decide to hide her from us. Why? Uh, let's just say that we, we, we try to take things slow. Mm-hmm. Is that so? Yes, yes. The slower, the better. So the better. <laughs> <laughs> I like a woman with a good sense of humor. 
you have my approval. Oh, I didn't think I needed your approval. Of though. course you needed it. <laughs> now, uh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Uh, tell me more about yourself. Uh, Everything, you know, how he met you, how he asked you out. Oh my God, you won't believe how we prayed and fasted for this day. Oh, just tell me everything. Everything, please. Okay, uh, uh, sir, sis, um, Jenny and I, we have to go up to my room uh, to have an important conversation. Yes, right? we do have a lot to Jenny. talk about. To talk about. Yeah. Is that what you call her? Oh, please, Clem, be romantic. Give us sweet names, <laughs> pet names. You know, I have told him several times. He just wouldn't listen, men. <laughs> They're so clueless. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> honey, you should get me a pet name. Oh, yes, definitely, mm. honey. I'm going to try. Get you some beautiful pet names, oh, okay? <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs> Your kids are going to be so cute like you. They will uh, be cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, so, um, Jenny, mm. excuse me, my love. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shall we go upstairs to my room? Honey, you mean our room? No, oh, pardon me. <laughs> Silly me. Silly. Our room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of okay, course. darling. Excuse me. <laughs> you, just, just take your time, okay? No take problem. your time. Oh, I understand. I'll talk to you later, sister. Oh. Come on, darling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Take your time. Job. Oh, I like a girl with a good sense of humor. Mm. Mom will like us so much. Yes. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, you mean what are you doing lying to your sister? Just keep your voice down. She can possibly give you. You are scared of your sister. I'm not scared of anyone. Oh, okay. If you say so. You know what? I think you should keep this little smart mouth of yours in check because you still owe me. No, but... not anymore. Actually, I think we are even now. What do you mean by we are even? How? You just lied about us. I, I didn't lie about us. I just... It was just a little... Prevarication. Oh, okay. That's fine. Then I might as well go and tell her about our little prevarication. Hey, hey, wait. What? What do you want? What do I want? I mean, to keep this um, between two of us, what do you want? You are really scared of your sister. I am not scared of... You know what? Hmm. I don't owe you any explanation, okay? Oh, you do? Oh, you do? Come on. You just lied about us, so you do. And about what I want, well, that depends, sir. What are you offering, Mr. Clems? Um, pretend relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. Why pretend? Why not do the real thing? Are you joking? Who would want to date that one? Uh, well, why wouldn't you? Why would I? Go, he's hot. <laughs> he's a fine man. Okay. Tall, dark, and handsome. Mm -hmm. He's even a prince. Oh. So why wouldn't you want to? <laughs> no, I blame my village people. They are the reason why I missed such opportunity. <gasps> because of that rubbish Timothy, that smelling man that has one million children and God knows how many wives are abroad. And because of him, I've lost this man. My darling, if you want this one, I can gladly introduce you. To. I don't need to. No, I can introduce it's you. It's okay, my dear. Take him. It's yours. I'm sure fate put two of you together. No, 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 fate. It was you and your freaking dating app. <laughs> Let's just get that clear. <laughs> <laughs> and that rubbish, Timothy. God will punish that man. See, my God will punish that man. Whatever he's looking for in this life, he will never find it. For stringing me along. Look at me sitting down here. I'm thinking that, oh, I have found the love of my life. It's time for my people to buy a shrebi, oh. Baby, and for you, you to do cheap rice. You business. don't exactly have the best taste in men, but I'm sorry about that, okay? I'm always here for you. Hmm? Oh, it's okay, Jare. <laughs> just me, just me. 
Coco, on this matter is that you're going to tell me how he proposed to you. Pro, uh, pro what? Asked you out. It was an agreement. We just agreed. Uh, baby girl, when I asked you out, you proposed or it's an agreement. I don't want to know. What I want is full details on how he did it. So please okay. download. Give it to me. Well, he says. I need you to do me a favor. You need me to do you a favor. Yes. Oh, that's rich coming from you. <laughs> Are you going to do it or not? Depends. I don't know. Let's hear it. I need, uh, I need a pretend girlfriend for at least two months. Okay. You, you want me to be your pretend girlfriend? Yeah, I couldn't think of anyone better. Given the performance you did in front of my sister, I think you're the best. You're joking, right? No, if you agree, I'll give your company the deal and uh, get your job back with the race. You're, you're serious? If I wasn't serious, I wouldn't say it. Okay, first of all, you cannot assure me a race. You're not my boss. I am your boss's boss. So wait, what you're saying is you would sign the deal with my company, that that's what you're saying? Mm -hmm. hmm. So are you going to do it or not? Is that all I'm getting? A raise and a deal? If you want some money, I can throw some money in. If you want some money, I can throw... I don't need your money. I want an apology. What? I want an apology. I've apologized several times for my rudeness. You haven't. Not even once. So you want me to apologize to you? Yes. But you don't think I deserve an apology? Okay. Miss Genevieve Odell. I'm sorry for being disrespectful to you. I apologize. Is that okay? Well, I can manage it. You can manage it. Yeah. So, are you going to do it or not? Be your pretend girlfriend for two months, right? Uh-huh. We have a deal. 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 Good girl. So, yeah. That's exactly how it happened. See. Clarissa. Hey, my what sister. is this? <laughs> Sorry, Joe. You know, I'm just lost in the sweet, loving proposal, romantic moment Pro you had what, with What you. is wrong with you? Where did you hear? You know, I'm not even doing this with you. No. You can enjoy in your la la land while I go find something to eat. No, enjoy. Proposal. All right. God. You're watching me, oh. Eh? Even if I'm potato stuff, fry me, fry me two chips. Let son of man see me and enjoy now. What is this? Did I offend? Ah. Romantic, romantic, romantic moment. Take me higher, higher through the mountains. I wanna be higher, higher than my problems. Take me higher, higher to the mountains. I wanna be higher, higher than my problems. Take me higher, higher to the mountains. I wanna be higher, higher than my And I am the only son and third child of four children. I, um, my native name is uh, Somadina. Okay. Um, what else? I have three degrees, um, two masters, 
um, I uh, graduated from MIT and also Oxford. Impressive. Wow. Um, Very impressive. So, uh, is there anything else you need to know? No, I think we have it all covered. Wait. You're not writing anything? No. Genevieve. What? This is serious. Yeah. My family are going to bombard you with questions. So many questions. <laughs> okay, listen, I may not have gone to the prestigious schools you went or have three degrees, but I have a retentive memory. So you're saying that if I ask you questions about anything we've talked about, you will remember. Would you like to ask me whatever it is you've mentioned? Go on, ask me. All right. What's my mother's maiden name? Oh, come on now. I thought we were talking about you. It's yeah. supposed to be personal. But Ask me I, questions about you. No, I did mention it. If you were listening keenly, you would have remembered that. Mba. I remember. Her maiden name is Mba. So you actually know the maiden name and you were just trying to stress me, right? <laughs> hmm? Why? <laughs> hmm? Okay. Your turn. Tell me about yourself. Um, Everything. Well, my name is Genevieve Odo. You already know that. What's your native name? Ndidi. Ndidi Amaka. Ndidi. Yes. Ndidi Amaka. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does your mother know that you are not patient at all? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfect case of giving the wrong name, the right name to the wrong person. this for you as a pretend girlfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you become his real girlfriend, what is he going to buy for you? A mansion? Don't I deserve it? Uh, we all do, my sister. <laughs> we all do. This is beautiful. But girl, this must have cost a fortune. I guess. Hmm. Well, are you sure you two are still doing, you know, pretend relationship? Or have you upgraded things and you have decided not to gist your best girl? What are you saying? I'm saying that this is a lot, okay? No man buys this much for a woman he's not interested in. <laughs> so what you're saying is he's interested in me? Mm hmm And from the look of things, I think he's interested in me. <laughs> what? Yeah! No! I know you No! Yes. I Yes. Everything he's doing is based off of the agreement. There's nothing special. So get that idea out of your head, Abeg. What? Uh, did I say anything? I shall know when a woman is interested in a man and when a man is interested in a Carissa, you and don't right now, know it looks like shit. shit. You don't know shit. You don't okay. know anything. You have no idea. Zero idea. You know, I don't even know why I bother with you. Thank you. Uh, wait, I, no, 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 we're okay, Narendra. Don't worry about it. You want to help? No, no thank no, no, you. See, oh, you're see, so sweet. I think, I think this, this is going to look nice on me. Just let me do some, you know. You know. I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one, by the way. Or, or this one. Carissa, you can have it all. Okay, I know you like shiny things, so I'm just going to leave this one for you and take this one. Babe, don't play with me, oh! Hey, this guy's playing with me, oh. Let me back. I was surprised when you said you were here. Yeah, I figured you didn't go to work, so I, yeah. I you know, I just thought I should stop by, check up on you, Very say hi. Very thoughtful, thank you. And I wanted to give you this, a key to my house. 
Since you're not my pretend girlfriend, I think you should have a key to my house. Don't you think? Speechless? Speechless? Wow, that's strange. I mean, you always have a way to come back. Are you sure about this? Sure about what? Giving me the key to your house is... What? Are you a thief? Come on, why would you even ask me that? Then Don't we... you think this is just taking things too far? If you are not a thief, then we're good. Come on, hold it. Here we go. Good girl. And uh, I am going for dinner. I want to eat out, so... Um... Okay, I have to ask politely. Can you please uh, accompany me to dinner? You look good. Don't tell me you want to change. Sure. Great. Wait, wait. Clem, mm. what did you say? You mean you gave her the key to your house? Yes, as my pretend girlfriend. Okay, there is pretend there, so it's not real. Of course it's not real. That's why we have to make it look real. By giving her the key to your house? Guy, come on. It's risky now. <laughs> How would you do a thing like that? You say something now, you're just sitting down there and looking at us. What do you want me to say? Clem is not a child, he knows what he's doing. Exactly, finally, somebody understands me. Hey, I'm not on your side either. I saw the light saying that you don't know this girl. Consider the drama that went on during your blind date and all. I mean, what? You mean what? Bro, come on. I'm just giving her the key to my house. Not the, not the key to my life. Clem. Come on. Okay. Okay, Clem. I want to ask you one question. Go ahead. Have you fallen for her? No. Nope. Are you sure? Because with the way we carry a matter for it, it looks like you're falling for her. Bro, I told you before, I am not interested in any serious relationship. I'm not ready for that. All I want to focus on is my work and building my family's empire. That's all. If I want a serious relationship or to get married, bro, I will find a girl who's calm, who's unproblematic, and get married to her. And there's nothing more to this. You're sticking to the agreement, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Besides, Jenny and I, we're not even attracted to each other. Mm. We're not. Mm. Bro, she's not even my type. You know me, I like girls to be calm. Cool girls. Mm -hmm. And Jenny is the complete opposite of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> just say it out. Whatever you have to say, just say it. Stop. Stop. Nothing. Whatever mm. you're doing, bro. Nothing. Nothing. Ah, nothing. We just sit here and watch. Ah, she be not here with you. Yeah, All right. right. Okay. We'll see how keep, things keep go. Sneaking, yeah. keep, keep, what keep street are your keys? Huh? <laughs> you see, mom and dad will be so happy to see you guys like this. <laughs> You can't imagine how much time we have waited to take this man off the bachelor's market. Oh, come on, come <laughs> on. <laughs> well, I, I honestly can't wait to meet them. I'm sure they are very present. I've heard a lot about them. Yes, they are. Um, don't worry, you'll meet them very soon, sooner than you think. As a matter of fact, you'll meet them this weekend. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're back in the country? Yes. They're back in the country. Nobody told me about it. <laughs> They're in Abuja as we speak. So they'll be flying into Lagos on Friday. So you see them on Saturday. <laughs> you guys are making plans to meet and nobody has said a thing to me about it. On Saturday? Saturday is it's too early. Why do you think I'm here? They sent me here to tell you people. Okay. Oh, God. Saturday is too early. Um, it's, it's, weird. it's too early for my girlfriend to meet them. We're, we're not ready. She has to be prepared. Prepared? Well, I don't understand. Prepared for what? I mean, she has to um, 
get herself ready to meet my parents, right, darling? Yes, I have to prepare. <laughs> you don't need to prepare, darling. All you have to do for me is to keep being pretty. <laughs> love yourself, and mom is going to love you so much. <laughs> um, but, uh, uh, anyway, if this is settled... Uh, settled? We all will meet on Saturday. I, I don't think that's settled. You will have to tell mom and dad to hold on or whatever they are planning and I will communicate with them. Honey, she, this, she, she has to be, you know, well prepared. We should just... Don't worry, rush to... don't worry. Don't worry. Look, you don't really have to do this. You don't really have to meet my parents until this whole thing is over. I don't have to or you don't want me to. Which is it? What, I, what I'm saying is that we are not prepared. I mean, we are not fully prepared and I, I'm just thinking things are moving too fast. I mean, I, I think we should slow down a bit. Don't you think? Is that really what it is or you don't think I'm good enough to meet your parents? Come on, Jenny, don't start. Don't start. Don't start what? No, tell me, don't start what? We planned vigorously for this day. I practically know everything. And vice versa now, what changed? What's happened is that I'm, I'm just worried. I'm worried that we get my parents involved in this and come to think of it. I mean, is it really worth it? I mean, the lies? I can just tell them that I'm not ready or I haven't found someone and they can give me more time instead of lying to them. Seriously? You roped me into this and now you just want to leave me halfway. What, what kind of person are you? Why are you sounding like this? I mean, you have your job back. Your company has a deal. You have a raise. So, what is it? You have nothing to lose. Let's just say I don't like to be caught on a wires. You brought me into this, and now you just want to... What kind of person are you? Look, I don't like the tone of your voice. <laughs> you know what? Do whatever it is you want to do. Jane. Because I'm done. It's not like that now. Come on. Let's talk about it. We claim. His sister asked that I meet their parents, but he refused. We got in a fight and I left. As it stands, I, I, I don't think there's an agreement. Actually, I know there's no agreement. But it was at that moment I realized I'm in love with him. It's, it's no longer about the agreement for me. It's, it's real. And now everything is, is over. I want this. What am I going to do? I want him. I want this. What am I going to do? I... It will come to you, okay? I'm in love with him. It's a good thing. Well, I hope you all are enjoying your food. I had a chef work all day preparing this food for you guys. Yes, we are. 
Thank you very much. Mom? Yeah. <laughs> um? mm? Are you not saying anything? Mm -hmm. Well, it's okay. It's just okay? He tried. Oh, he tried. <laughs> All right. Just that um, I would have loved your woman to be here on this table with us. Well, like I said, um, she also would have loved to be here, but uh, duty called and she had to travel for work. Mm. I'm not happy she's not here. I was so looking forward to meeting the woman who stole my son's heart after all this while. Well, don't you worry. We'll meet her another time. We have time, Mom. <laughs> all right? When? Soon. We have waited for this moment, for this long. And now the moment is here, and we can't see her. It's okay, my dear. <clears throat> if he says some other time, mm -hmm. then some other time. <laughs> We're not running away. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yes, mom, some other time. She say so. Enjoy your food. Mm -hmm. Is she really out of town for work? Or you guys had a fight? What are you talking about? I told you she's out of town for work. Why would I lie about that? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you lie? When all you do is push people away. Maybe you must have pushed her away and now you're covering up with lies. Wait, are you calling me a liar? Because if you are, I don't like that. I am not calling you a liar. All I'm saying is that your words do not add up. She wanted to come and meet her parents, then all of a sudden she traveled out for work. Oh, please. This is suspicious. It is. <sighs> See, all I'm saying is that Whatever problems people have, honestly, I don't care. But you have to fix this. I like that girl. She's good for you. Hmm? You don't even know her. But, but you know her, don't you? Huh? Besides, I asked someone to look her up. Yes. She's from a good and respectable family and town. Our family can marry into their family. So you don't have any problem with that. Mm -hmm. She is AA and that's good for your AS. So I don't see any reason why you are holding back. Wait, wait. Are you talking about marriage? What, what, what do you mean by marriage? What do you mean by what do you mean by marriage? Don't you want to marry her? I am not ready to rush into anything as serious as marriage. Jesus. I've said that countless times. I'm not ready. I'm tired of repeating myself. I don't want to get married now. Only I will decide when I get married. And we don't have the whole time in the world to wait for you to decide. We don't to wait for you to make up your mind. We don't have that time. Besides, dad is not getting any younger. Neither are you. We don't have that time. Then we don't. So you just have to make up your mind fast and very fast. Thank you so much oh. <laughs> for having us these few days. <laughs> indeed, we had fun. Great fun. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you, son. It's a pleasure, Dad. It's a pleasure having you guys around. And I think we should do this more often. 
Indeed, we should. <laughs> <laughs> I can't miss this front for anything. Jenny! She's back! Yes, yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Come on, meet my friends. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm, darling, you, you didn't tell me you were back. I, I wanted to surprise him. I wanted to surprise him. And you ended up being surprised. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My friends have been going on and on and on about you. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Your Royal Majesty. The pleasure is ours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> and they were all good things. Oh, that's uh -huh. good. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit disappointed when I was told that you traveled out of town for work. But now I'm happy. <laughs> to see you, yeah. though briefly, yes. because um, we're on our way to the airport right now. I'm so sorry about oh, that. No, it's okay. Let me have your number. We have a lot to talk about. Okay, no <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Yes, I don't. Okay. Yes. I would like to know you better. Okay. Well, you could have asked me, I would have given you her number. I would ask you. Uh, I'm yeah. asking the right person. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Ken, yeah. um, I apologize for showing up like this. Honestly, if I had known they were here, I would not have shown up. No, it's, it's fine. Uh, they decided to stay for a few more days and I thought it best they stay here with me instead of going to a hotel. Oh, okay. Well, I hope my presence didn't cause you any trouble. No, it didn't. I mean, they were, they were asking after you. Especially my mom. She was very sad when she heard that you were out of town. She's such a lovely person. Yeah, she is. The loveliest soul. Uh, she's so easily taken to people. <laughs> Quite extroverted. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, sorry. Um, the reason I came. <laughs> um, I came to drop this off. I mean, since the deal is off, I figured there's no need for me to hold on to this. So... Do you mind, uh, do you mind sitting a bit? I want to talk to you. Please. Okay, sure. Uh, I want to say sorry for the way things ended the last time. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. No, it's not fine. I shouldn't have spoken to you the way I did. I shouldn't have said the things I said to you. I was selfish, especially considering the fact that you were doing me a favor. I'm sorry. And uh, if you don't mind, I would uh, like us to continue our arrangement. That's uh, if you don't mind. Really? Yes, I mean, that's, that's if you are... Uh, you, that's if you, you, you're interested, but if you don't, I, I totally no, understand. No, 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 it's not, it's not that. I'm just, I'm just curious. I mean, what, what changed? Uh, I mean, um, the fact that we, we started already, and I, I think we should complete, complete what we have started. That's if you're still interested. Yeah, sure, of course. You are? Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, sorry. I'm sorry. Let's take this. Hello. Hey, you. Hey. 
Mm. What? <laughs> the way you're talking to this, your mother-in-law, it will seem like you've known yourself for a very long time. Mother-in-law? Yes. Oh, you have married me out. At this point, yes, my darling, you're married. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't you want to marry her, sir? <sighs> I mean, yes, but Paul Clem, he doesn't look at me that way. Mm. You would never... Are you expecting someone? Don't worry, I'll get it. No, I'll just check who it is. Hi. Hi. May I come in? Yes, please, please come in. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shall I drop this here? Thank you. You're welcome. And trust me, this is nothing. If I had known you were coming, I would have prepared everything nice for you. <laughs> it's okay. What well, is okay? Um, I'm sorry I came unannounced. It's okay. Okay. Um, I hope your flatmates won't be angry. Sissy? Yeah. Of course not. Okay. <laughs> well, let me go straight to the point. Okay. <sighs> I just have to tell you so that I can take it off my chest. It's okay. Um, I want you to seduce my brother. I'm sorry, what? You see, my dad, the king, is very sick. And he was advised to take some time off work. So that leaves the uh, claim taking over the affairs of the kingdom. But that won't happen if he's not married and if he doesn't have a child. So that's where you come in. Me, how? <sighs> Would you like to marry my brother? Oh, Jenny, we are friends now. Please, you can tell me everything. Do you like to marry my brother? I mean, yes, but he's not ready for marriage. Nonsense. That's what all men say until they get into it and realize that it's the best thing that has happened to them. You see, Ken needs a little push to do the right thing. And you're the only one that can do that. So you, you want me to seduce him and get pregnant? I presume that's what you're of saying. Of course, yes. That's what I want. See, my brother loves children. And I know he's going to make a good father. But that will not happen if we sit down and watch him. Kemi will not take any step if we do not give him a little push. What if he denies the child? <laughs> what happens to me? He will not. He will never. My brother is a proud person. He wouldn't want to see it out there. I know he's going to do the right thing. He will take care of his child and the mother. That I mean marriage. Hmm? You see, you have the support of the whole family. And you know my parents, they love you so much. And they wouldn't want you to get hurt. So you see, you're covered. Tell me, what do you say? And you said yes. Girl, why would you agree to such manipulation? See, this isn't a man into getting you pregnant so you can have a relationship with him. You're not that desperate. Stop it. Come on now. I'm only trying to help them. Oh, no. I know you. You are doing this for yourself. 
You like this man and because he wouldn't take the initiative to ask you out. You want to manipulate him. Come on, G. Did come I come up with the idea? Uh, you did. How? You jumped on it. You jumped on it, didn't you? Why? Okay, I think you need to call this woman and you need to call it off. Call it off. Cancel it. It's, it's not right. That's not happening. Huh? I will see you to the end. Come on, baby girl. This is wrong on all levels. You are manipulating this, but this is manipulation. You can't do stuff like that to him. Are you jealous of me? Okay, why would you ask that? What is that? I don't know what else to think. Why would you ask me that? Why are you attacking me? I am not attacking I you. I need you to be a friend. Support me, not scold me. You're I not am my mother. your friend. I am okay. your best friend. All right. Okay. What kind of friend would I be if I don't tell you the truth? Tell me. Girl, you need to think about what you're doing. Think, you're making a mistake. You will hurt yourself in the end. Oh, it's close to 8 p.m. Oh, my God. Uh, are you worried? Of course. I'll let my driver drop you home. Don't worry about oh. that. Okay. Okay? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just uh, give me a moment. Uh, well, yep. Go ahead. Yes, I'm sending it right away. All right. Okay, bye. I'm so sorry to call too longer than I expected. It's okay. What's going on? Come here. Hey. Shh. Just kiss me. I should kiss you. Come on. Come on. Kiss me. Look. Kiss me. you want it. Oh my god. I do, I just not not like this. I I need to I mean not until I get something out of my mind. What are you talking about? Get something out of where? Listen, I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Your, your your sister asked me to seduce you. But, 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 but hold what? on. She did it out of love. She's just scared. She feels like you won't settle listen, down listen, unless listen. you get a push. What? So, every single thing you did was just your plan. You're coming in, kissing me was all your seduction plan. At, at first, yes. But, but that doesn't mean that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I've been so stupid. Let me explain. Things. Explain what? It's not how you think. Get it out! Clem. Don't let me repeat myself. Oh, come on. Get out! Clem, I can explain this. Get out! Okay, okay. Okay. Out! Okay. 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 Out! Out! out.
could you, Amanda? How could you do such a thing? Asking Jenny to pretend or seduce me into marriage? What's wrong with you? I was only trying to help you. You see, that is not feeling fine at the moment, and you're not taking this money. So you decided to set me up? You have more people to know how I hate manipulation after what Kate did to me. Then you pulled the same stunt. Why? How dare you? I'm sorry. How dare you choose to interfere with my life? I'm sorry, okay? I was being desperate. I didn't think through it properly. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed at you. And you should thank your lucky star that you are my sister. Otherwise, I would have done something that you've never seen before. Just thank God that you're my blood. I'm sorry, Clem. I'm sorry. Clem! You're still my brother. I'm sorry. Amanda had no right to ask Jenny to seduce me. She had no right. How could she? What was she thinking about? Who could have thought about such wickedness? Who? Same here. Look, I know your sister wants you to settle down. But this right here, this is really low. I'm so disappointed at her. I'm so disappointed. Um, but um, I, I will give it to Jenny. I, I will give it to her for coming out with the truth. Hmm? So what? She initiated a plan. Yeah. They were both a part of the plan. Look, she's not exempted. She, she started the whole thing. But she didn't go through with it. Clearly. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She's still to be blamed as much as Amanda. I understand, but I still give it to her. She, she, I don't she, give anything to her. Don't even want to hear it. Okay. Don't even start, start to give us some excuses. You know, there, there was this, um, there was this uh, uh, thing that they suggested about the uh, uh, Indian market. I think we should pay close attention to the Indian market. Uh, okay. Could um, have huge revenue coming from that side. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, the market is quite huge. And uh, if we can be smart enough to invest now, you know, okay. and have that connection rolling, yeah. it's going to benefit your company. And uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, that's why yeah. I'm here. Yeah. And that's why we're partners. Oh, that's why I'm working with your company, because I know you have the, the capacity to do so. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> and, and and then, of course, it's thanks to that she's the head of research. And you will keep investing in your company to make sure that um, uh, we uh, bring out the best. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. So thank, thank you so much. You. Amazing. Thank you.
I've called, I've texted, he won't return my calls, he won't reply my messages. I've done everything, he won't even see me. And I know he tells you both everything and that's why I've called. Mm. I need you to just, please, speak to him on my behalf. I need him to just listen to me so I can explain. Um, well, uh, you know, you and Amanda really hot claim. And Amanda, of all people, knows that Clem's ex-wife manipulated him. And Clem has sworn never to fall into that trap again. And then, this happened. Man, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if Clem will listen to us. He won't. You obviously, you know he won't listen to us. Clem is hard not to crack. And hates, it takes betrayal, you know, like, I don't know, but you still have to do the talking, everything. You, you just try and I've talk tried. to him. I tried. He won't listen. I don't know what else to do. Look, you have to push harder. I've done if, everything. If you want something, you have to make the sacrifice. You have to keep trying, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> this, this is a sacrifice you have to make now. Hmm? I don't know. The question is, are you ready to make the sacrifice? I know what I did was wrong. It was wrong on every level. Asking Jenny to seduce and manipulate you into marriage was a terrible thing to do. It was way out of line. I shouldn't interfere in your life. I'm sorry, it will never happen again, I promise. You, you can marry whoever you choose, whenever you choose. Okay, but, but, but please forgive me. Please. Do you understand the danger of what you did? Do you know the risk? You could have put me through by manipulating me into marriage. Do you know the consequences of your action? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Just, just, just forgive me, please. You're my sister. I forgive you. But you have to let me be. You can no longer interfere in any decision I make. You were given the chance, you respect me enough to let me make my own decisions. Of course, of course, I, I won't do anything anymore. I won't interfere in your, in your marriage plans anymore, okay? Please. Please. You're my sister. I can't hold a grudge against you forever. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. <sighs> Thank you so much. Clem! Clem, I'm sorry, okay? I, I shouldn't have agreed. You have a thing I touch you I'm never sorry, Clem, And nothing like a touch you could have been But still you live inside of me Clem! So tell me how he's Clem, there. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have agreed to it It was low of me, the just please hear me, hear me out, Clem you break my heart, you're the only one and Clem What's wrong with you? What do you want? What are you doing? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just... 
I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but you, you wouldn't pick my calls. You wouldn't pick my calls. You wouldn't reply my texts. You blocked me all over social media. I didn't know what else to do. I just had to show up. I'm sorry. Okay? Just You know what? I forgive you. Really? But that's all you're getting from me. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you around me. I don't want, I don't want you calling my phone. This is a quiet neighborhood. Stop, stop screaming my name. Please. Just go home. I love you. I love you, Clem. I loved you for the longest. But I couldn't say it because I did not want to lose you. I messed up. I can't eat, I, I, I can't sleep, I, I can't function. And I know you don't feel the same way. But I need you to know that I truly care. If you just give me the chance to fix this, to correct whatever disappointment you feel, I would fix this, Clem. Allow me, please. Just... Just go home, Jenny. There's nothing here for you. Just... Just go home, okay? Just... Just go home. Clem. Go home. <laughs> oh my god. You know you should smile often. You look nice when you smile. Is that a compliment? Maybe. Maybe? Mm -hmm. Wait, are you blushing? No. You are blushing. No, of course not. I <laughs> You <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you are no, I'm not. Come on, you're blushing. <laughs> I realize you're the one I'm waiting for. You are my sunshine. Yeah. I realize 
Who's there? Now me, Yoga. Ibrahim, come inside. Mother Jerry came this afternoon to try to give you this letter. Jerry? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. You're leaving me alone in this big apartment all by myself. See, you know I have to leave, else I won't move on. But it's going to be lonely without you. I know. I'll miss you. I know. And I'll miss you more. But I have to leave. Don't make me cry. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> Sorry, it's my mom. Yeah. Hi, mommy. I'm fine. Yes, I'm packing up. I can't stop saying how sorry I am about how things turned out between us. And it hurts even more seeing you at the meetings at the office and not being able to speak to you. So I decided to take a quick leave from work to clear my head and maybe start a new life. So, I'll be traveling to see my mom and maybe find a job there, who knows. There may be something for me there. I love you, Clem. I'm really sorry for everything. I pray that someday you would find someone that would make you extremely happy. <sighs> Finally done. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So you're really not coming back? <sighs> See, we've talked about this. I need to go. My mental health. Well, I'm very sorry things turned out this way. Yeah, it's okay. I learned my lesson. Mm. I know what not to do. I'm expecting someone. No, are you? No. Let me show.
What are you doing here? Um, please just hear him out, okay? Please. I got. Go first. No, really, you go first. I got your letter. Okay. And I read it. Good. You know you don't have to leave town because of me. Yeah, I know, but I just want a change of environment. What if I ask you to stay? What if I don't want you to go? You think you can just show up and make rules? No, I'm not trying to make rules. Genevieve Odell. I cannot stop thinking about you. No matter how hard I try. And believe me, I try. I really try to forget about you. But the more I, I try to hate you, the more I love you. And then I realize that I can't. I can't fight this thing called love. I can't win a battle with love. So I give up. I give up. I am done fighting this feeling I, this burning feeling I feel in my heart every time I think about you. What I'm trying to say is that I love you and I forgive you completely. I mean, we all make mistakes. I make, I make mistakes. You, you make mistakes, right? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I should be the one saying sorry. I am sorry, darling, for making you cry. Even though you look so beautiful when you cry. <laughs> Stop it! I'm serious. I mean, you look the most beautiful when you cry. Stop, please. I love you. I love you. I mean, I love you so much. I am crazy about you. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god. That's what you are there.
that we 